G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. This is a quick video looking at a handy little trick I use, also get my students using, just sometimes in maths when you're not certain how to proceed. Okay, and I'll give you an example like this. It's not much of a trick, but it's really, really quite uh, effective. So, I've been working with a bit of trigonometry with my students at the moment, and we're getting things that come out like this. So it's 37 over x is equal to 0 0.14. And they're getting a bit stuck, okay? How are they going to work out x here? Are they going to get this number and divide it by this number? Are they going to get this number divided by this number? Or are they going to multiply these two numbers? And this trick I, I'm going to show you just alleviates that uh, little uncertainty that you can get with this. Another question that's been sent in by a listener called Ravi Prakash Singh, thank you for that question by the way, was this one. How do you go about working out, say, something like 20% of a certain number is equal to 600? And how would you go about for certain working out what this number is? Because people kind of get a little bit, bit muddled when they're doing these occasionally. So this trick I'm going to show you, uh, this method I'm going to show you is really good for working this out. So let's just launch straight into this first example here. Okay, so here's my first example here, and I'll show you what this trick is. It's not much of a trick, but it's really, really handy. It pays big dividends, and it's this. If you don't like the numbers that you're being given, if these numbers throw you a little bit, set up a similar equation with numbers that you do like, with things that you know to be true. I'll show you what I mean. We've got a number divided by another number, and it's got our, uh, something here. Okay, so we could actually set this up very similar, and I use these particular numbers. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. And the reason I use these is they're nice and simple, but the numbers are all different, okay? So we're trying to find out x here, and this is how I now employ this. We're trying to find out x, which is in the same position as the 3 here. I could set this up and say x is equal to, well, 3 is going to be equal to 6 divided by 2. So we're going to go along and do that same pattern here, this number divided by this number. x is going to be equal to 37 divided by 0.14. 37 divided by 0 0.14. And you know for certain that you've got it in the right order then. So, 37 divided by 0 0.14, you might get the answer of 264.29. Not so much after the answer on this one, more just showing you that method there. So what do you think of that? Okay, so it's, it's a very, very simple sort of thing, but it's really, really quite effective. And you know for certain, really quickly, what you're going to be doing. By the way, if you like this video, please hit the like button and make sure you subscribe. Just going to get that quickly in. Um, now look, I'm just going to go to this next example here. Okay, so for our second example here, thanks for that Ravi, is 20% of a certain number is equal to 600. So let's just rewrite this so it's a bit nicer, because 20% is equal to 20 out of 100. That's what percent means. So you can work this out and decimalise, and that's the first thing I do. 20 divided by 100, which is equal to 0 0.2. Of in maths is times, and we have this unknown number, the one we're looking for, which is equal to 600. Okay, so now what do we do? Well, I'd set this up where I'd have these numbers. Once again, this 3, 2, and 6. And you're going to look at it and go, well, one number times another number is equal to this. So we could use our 3, 2, 6. We could say 3 times 2 is equal to 6. We're trying to find out the number in the 2 position here. Okay, so this 2 here is going to be equal to the number in the 6 position divided by the number in the 3 position. Okay, because 2 divided by uh, 2 equals 6 divided by 3. Okay, let's just sub these through. The number in the 6 position is 600. This is now for our unknown here. Uh, divided by the number in this 3 position here, which is 0 0.2. What's the answer going to be? 600 divided by 0 0.2. If you do that, you're going to get the answer of 3,000. So that's, once again, how you can use this little method, just to know for certain what you're doing. Now look, this is not a trick at all. This is just a method of uh, setting things up. So they so they make sense, and you can you can then compare them to something which is like and like sort of thing. Uh, so what about I give you a couple of examples? So x over 180 equals 50. Now, you might be able to do this straight away, but try this using this method, because I can guarantee occasionally you'll hit this uh, stage of uncertainty. So once again, 6 divided by 3 equals 2. Okay, we're trying to find out the number in this 6 position here. So really simple, we're just going to multiply these two numbers. So we're going to multiply these two numbers. 180 times 50, 
What's the answer going to be to work out x? This is what x is equal to. x is going to be equal to 9,000. Okay, for the second example here, another one I found students can struggle in the past. You have a TV, it has a deposit of 8%, you pay down a deposit of 8%, the deposit's 250 bucks that you pay. What was the original price? Okay, so we're going to set this up first off. So we're saying that 8% of the actual price, the price that we're looking for, is equal to $250. No problem, right? So let's set this up using that little method. Now first off, you're going to actually know, I should change this first off, shouldn't I? Because 8%, which is 8 out of 100, uh, 8 out of 100, which is equal to 0 0.08, a lot better we write it like that, so 0 0.08 times a certain number is equal to 250. Okie dokie, let's uh, put that little method in that I've been saying. So we're basically going, okay, numbers that line up, we could say 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Now we're after the number in this 2 position here. So 2 is equal to this number, the 6, uh, divided by 3, which for our numbers, our unknown here, is going to be the number in the 6 position, 250, divided by 0 0.8. 0 0.08, sorry, I'm making mistakes. So what's our answer going to be here? Uh, the original price is going to be $2,562.50. I probably should put a dollars there. That's what it's equal to. Okay? Anyway, hopefully that video is of some help, okay? It's not a major trick. It's just a little method I use occasionally to try and sort out uncertainties. Once again, thanks for that question. Uh... Anyway, if you like this video, I said just poke the like button. Be really gentle with this time. It's been getting a bit of a working out maybe lately, okay? So uh, just be really, really gentle with that like button, but make sure you hit it. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.